Hello Star Munchers, Max here, back playing Terra Nil. Welcome to the Archipelago. This is one of the two, I guess, bonus episodes after like the main game that we finished last episode. This is going to be my second attempt at the Archipelago because I screwed things up in a major way. So I'm going to try and remedy that. Essentially, something that I didn't know is that these raised areas become vital in the later game. And I didn't know that. And I kind of just threw land masses around willy-nilly and eliminated too much water area that I need to do the coral uh, restorations. So, this time, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to connect stuff up in a way that makes sense. We need to connect to these raised areas because that's the only way that we can connect up the shade cloth things again. So we need to actually think this through, so that way we can. So I want to create some land masses, but not too much. The tricky part is, or one of the tricky aspects of the restoration, is the fact that you need enough extra shade area that you can, like burn stuff to raise the temperature. Like, it's tricky. It's definitely tricky. It's not a gimme. So... Like, if we do this, put them off to the side. We just need to make sure that we have enough space. So if I create, like, one larger landmass, that should be okay, but I just gotta be careful what I'm doing here. Because I don't want to repeat what I did last time. Like, we gotta create a landmass, but we gotta be careful. Okay, you both are useless to me. Doggone it. So there's gonna be a weird gap in there. Fine. You wanna play like that game? We can play that way. We need to make sure that we have access to these raised areas. So maybe what I should be doing is just be careful not to go too crazy on these in the early game and add them as needed. But what I did last time, which was really dumb, is I put a ton of these out on the map early. And I don't want to do that this time. I'm going to see if I can actually do this right. So this can be a good enough start for us. We also need to make sure that we don't use up all of the rocks. This is definitely going to be tricky. Because we also need enough land mass. That we can green enough. But we also have the water tiles too. So... Just don't want to go too crazy too early in what I'm doing. Just gonna try and be smart about what I'm doing and not go overboard in the early game. But yeah, in my head, I wasn't even thinking last time about sort of the, the processes of what I needed to do, which that's what screwed me over because I didn't know I needed to worry about all these little raised areas and getting them to work for me, because I didn't know that they were going to be a valuable resource later on. Which, again, is mostly on me. But it's also called the Archipelago, so we also shouldn't uh, ignore that, and we should take that into consideration. That we're not trying to just make one giant landmass, that we might have to split things up a little bit. Alright, so we're at 27%. Let's see what happens when we just green this. We'll see how far this gets us. Maybe straighten that out. 45, so about halfway there. 51. There we go. Alright, 
62. Not bad. We gotta restore more of the tiles out there. In which case, if we do this and get power over here, we can throw some toxin scrubbers out here. And if we do that on, like, the border, maybe, that might help us. And again, I... Alright, we're gonna connect some of this stuff up here. Because I know that all this is gonna be valuable. I just know it. I know we're gonna need it. But we also need to make sure that we have enough space for the other biomes as well. Maybe if I just do this in smaller chunks, we might be okay. Just gotta be careful. I don't want to screw this up again. It is unfortunate that there are some levels where it's almost like the only way that you can beat them is with the benefit of hindsight. And granted, part of that it's just me, to be fair. But still, there are some levels I feel like I almost have to fail originally in order to succeed later. Which I wish that wasn't the case. But, can't be too picky. All right, if we rotate this. If we can just green as much of the stuff on the edge as possible, that's good. Okay, that should probably be a good start for us. If we can just get past this initial stage we can create more land masses as needed, but let's just take it in slower paces and not uh, ruin everything early like last time. Okay. Next task is to introduce beaches, mangroves, tropical forests, and coral. You do not have the tools for creating cliffs here, so cliff faces are a precious resource for constructing shade pillars. Careful planning is critical for a balanced variety of biomes. That was what screwed me up last time. That little tidbit right there was what screwed me up. So I'm not going to worry about the hydroponium at first. The shade cloth pillar things, that's what I got to worry about. And in order to do that, we got to raise humidity. But luckily, we have lots of areas where we could do that. For starters. Okay. So that's taken care of. All that good stuff is taken care of. A lot of this is just temp and humidity, and all of it's just raise them. I don't think there's anything where it needs to be colder. Or like this one, temperature needs to go up. But that's the crazy difficult part at first. Okay. This is what we got to worry about. This right here. Is making sure we have enough real estate to do this. Which we should. Just gotta make sure that we have plenty to work with. There we go. It's already a much more promising start than before. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, no. Doggone it. Always with these stupid shade pillars. Ah, I needed to put it on the inside. Dang it. Alright, well, we can at least throw some over here. Put that there. Okay, we can do... This... Put that to there. Okay, hold on. If we green this little thing over here, does that become a viable spot? Is moss going to grow there? Because we kind of need it to. Okay, we could also put some over here, which isn't much, but it's something.
that irritates me. Look at all that right there. That's just going to waste. That's so frustrating. Ugh. Okay. We can technically work with more of this. We technically have it already, right? The tricky part is now we need to raise temperatures. And the only way to do that is by burning what we just made, which sucks. It really hurts to do all that because we just, we just put it down. All right. Is that as high as, nope, temps still need to go up. But can we do it from just grass and not take as much of our precious resource away? Okay. That's good. So humidity needs to go up. Dragonflies, the temperature's got to be so high for that to happen. Which we got it. Is that as high as temperature needs to be? If so, we can then focus on this. If we can get rain going, that would be great. But we need to do some mineralizing first. And then cloud seed the daylights out of this place. Uh oh. Don't do this to me, game. I will be very cross if you do this to me. You better let me cloud seed, game. Too close to another cloud seeder, eh? Is that the way we're playing it? Why must you always fight against me, game? I just want to have fun. I just want to cloud seed, do my little thing. Okay. Thunderstorms begin. The humidity needs to be so much higher in order for that to happen. Uh, does cleaning the ocean raise humidity? Hold on. Let me do this real quick. Yes, that raises humidity. So if we just green all this stuff again, that should help us. I can get rain going. That'd be something. Alright, we're definitely going to have to connect more of this up. That's just, like, for sure already. So maybe, like, right here? So if we put you down right about there, and then put some land mass here... Again, I just don't want to take away all the potential area for coral stuff to go. It's not easy. But if we do this, and then toxin scrub the daylights out of this, to make it viable for what we're trying to do, and then green it, to make sure that we're getting as many tiles as possible, Then we can do this. All right, that's a decent chunk. All right, are we almost thunderstorms? Whew, that humidity has got to be real high. Oh, that makes me so mad still. I'm so frustrated about that. All right, we got to be very careful. We do not want to go overboard again. I just want a cloud seed. Why are there so few cloud seeding options? Okay, I can do that. There we go. Thunderstorms begin. That's an excellent first step. Let's get some rain up in here. Is that all of my objectives? It is. Sweet. That was a very fast thunderstorm. Also didn't appear to do very much. So hopefully it comes back. For the moment... Let's try and connect some of this up here because there's a lot of raised platforms that we could utilize here. We just don't want to go overboard. We got to leave some room for the coral areas.
All right, let's stop there and put power down here and then do this and do that and then green all of this to the best of our ability all right then go back to the shade cloth okay that's connected up that's connected up all right so we're technically good on that biome if we don't touch that ever again we'll be fine <laughs> i don't know if we're gonna be able to accomplish that but we'll see because we also need to make beaches which okay hold on i kind of want to okay so i think the the trick with the coral reefs is it needs clean water which we have rain again. So I'm thinking if we work on the beaches. Man, it feels like that takes so much in order to get us a chunk. Okay, we do that. Okay, we can do this. All right, we're getting there. At least it doesn't, like try and overtake what's already there i guess that's a silver lining all right we're good on the beaches so now we got to get more rain i guess we can also do mangroves okay we just got to be careful okay kick the mangroves up a little bit need to skirt the edge of what we're doing with the shade cloth and not screw that up okay almost got it and now the rain's coming in okay this is optimal this is what we want to see get as much of the water cleared so that way when we seed our coral stuff it actually does like a lot of good that's what we need because that was my other problem is that since I started the earlier game by putting these over in the corners and making land masses, I was ruining the lowest spots where the coral reefs thrive. Again, it was just like an early game mistake that I didn't need to know. Like, I didn't know that I needed to be aware of that. But again, that's mostly on me. That's fine. I can handle failure. It's fine. I'm used to it. Alright, so if this clears most of the tiles up, that will make me very happy feel like we might need another rain yet but who knows so if we put this down right about there put you where's the nearest place we could throw a node down uh hold on let's grab you then throw a node down Let's do that again by putting something right about there. That should connect that. And then we can click you, click on you, and then, yes, this is what we needed. A much larger area to turn into coral. That's what we were missing, was all that deep water. Yes, this is what we needed. Because earlier, or in the first attempt, like, we were getting nothing. Like, this bar wasn't moving at all. Because there was just nothing deep to work with. This time there is. So it's a different story this time. This time I'm actually confident we'll be able to do it. Previous attempt was not so... Not so much. Maybe we could put some coral, like, right around there. Yep. Perfect. This looks much better. I just added way too much land mass in my first attempt. Like, way too much. 
like a ludicrous amount. Was not even close. Just got way too gung ho. And I jumped the gun in a major way. But this time, I'm not going to do that. Sweet. This is already going so much easier. <laughs> In this phase, build an airship and recycle your buildings. Excavators can make hard-to-reach pockets of ocean more accessible for your recycling drone. Satisfy the local fauna, and they will help restore plant life within their territories. Awesome. Whew. All right. Let's take a look at what we got here. So we got some happy animals and some not-so-happy animals. All right. Let's organize them by critter. Uh, let's deal with the airship first. Where can we actually put you? Do we need to build a whole landmass for you? Might have to. Yeah, we might have to. Let's build one. Let's... Wait, can we... What about... Nope, we can't build it over the water. It's close, but no cigar. Okay, in that case... Let's build a platform over here. Okay, is that enough space? There we go. And, uh-oh, uh, okay, wait, we can put it there. Okay, sweet. Yeah, being able to get our guy... I really wish we had the drone for this one. If there was ever one I wish we had the drone for, it's this. Because getting all of this stuff is going to be a pain. There might be routes around, I don't know. We will have to see. I don't know if our little boat guy can handle the mangroves very well. Does that count as like a solid chunk, or can they actually move through that? I don't know. Okay, that's a good start. Okay, so my question is, what all can you actually reach at the moment? You got that stuff. You can get that stuff. I'm kind of just letting the critters figure their own stuff out for the moment. Hopefully they'll be able to manage it. Alright, hold on. Let's put this... Hold on. Let's do this and put this down. Because this makes the excavator smaller and we need that. The excavators take up a lot of space. And I probably, yet again, jumped the gun big time. We need to clear a path. If I rotate this way. Alright, can you make it through that? I do not know. Let's find out, shall we? Hmm. Nope, doesn't look like it. Uh, gonna have to try that again. Oh boy. If I can just create uh, a kind of pathway. 
Let's try that. Maybe that. I don't know if we need to cheese this to just try and find a way. We've got to make a path for our little boat friend to get through. So far, this ain't working. It said the excavator could help us, right? I thought it did. Did they lie to me? Maybe we have to make a pathway somewhere else? I don't know if the mangroves are making it impossible. Alright, let's do that. That fills that up with water. Which doesn't look like it is. So we don't have the little lock system, do we? Okay, you can get to there. Hold on a minute. Hold on just a minute. Uh. No, 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 no. Hold on. What was the last instruction that it gave me? Archipelago. Airship excavators can make hard-to-reach pockets of ocean more accessible for your cycling drone. That's okay, so it's saying excavators are the way to go. Which, no offense, game, but... Um, I'm not sure if I believe you. Because so far, this is not working at all. Okay, um, does it have to be, like, ground level? Like, level with the sand, maybe? Okay, wait. What about now, that there's water filling those gaps? Aha! Aha! Okay, so we just needed the water to refill it, I guess? Okay, so it looks like we do have a pathway through. It's kind of an accident, but I'm not complaining. I will take what I can get. I'm just going to hope that all the animals stay happy. Again, I have no clue how he's going to get to all these places. He's making his rounds, though. We'll see if it actually works. Let me just check this again. Alright, what's the problem with y'all? Space? Okay, you're getting happier now. You want more shade cloth area? Man. Alright, let's throw this down. All right, I'm going to try and help at least one of the parrot guys out. I'm going to relocate you over there, because there's way more space over there. Turtle happy, we got manta rays, flamingos, sharks, and whales. So it's literally just the parrots who are being harumphy. Which, now you're happy. Okay. Thank goodness. All right. So grab that, please. You're off to get that, and then when you get back here, you can get all that. Is that good? I think that might be everything. If you grab that and then grab that last, I think we'll be good to go. This went so much smoother now that I knew what to anticipate in the level itself. Wish I had known that before, but, you know, that's okay. That's whatever. Okay, let me just double check real quick that we have at least one of each kind of animal happy. Looks like we do. All right, let's go. All right, well, attempt number two, we got there, and it looks much better than my first attempt. <laughs> the first one was rough, 
I put way too much land mass and yeah, it was bad. But got it sorted, got it all figured out. And that was a solid bonus episode. I'm assuming that these last two were tacked on after the fact. I don't know if it's just like an added challenge. Because the shade cloth stuff was a legitimate challenge. Like it wasn't easy in order to make sure everything was balanced. But that was a lot of fun. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.